one Five, team left eight, to skate tonight, and they three. have their work cut out for them now. They are the French national champions, Sarah Abitbal and Stefan Bernadis. Third last week at Trophy La Ligue, they are in second place tonight entering the free program. The music, the Adams family. side by side triple toe loops interesting costumes spider on the front of her costume a hand on the back Sarah fighting through those jumps. One thing she does so well is she makes sure that her back doesn't lean forward. She keeps very upright when she skates. Sometimes a little too stiff, but helps with the jumps. An incredible split triple twist. The height and the split that she's able to execute. Truly spectacular. lift the balance between them. Perfect. attempted to throw triple axle in competition in past seasons at the Olympics in 1998. Sarah completed the jump but stepped out at the end and you can see how she's capable of doing something so hard as a triple axle in a throw with her very strong positions. I always say that female pair skaters are powerful but they have to be fearless. Incarnate themselves as ice dancers. What do you think of this tango section? I think it's fun. I think they're very capable. It suits their their look and their their feisty spirit. I don't think Barbara Fusar Poli and Maurizio Magali will have any of that. <laughs> the world dance champions from Italy.
they find the right music as a vehicle to show off their best stuff. This was highly entertaining. The eight-time national champion Sarah Abifal and Stefan Bernadis of France. They train in Paris. She's 26 and he's 27 and they have their eyes on the Olympic Games that come up in 2002, February, Salt Lake City. A strong start here in the side-by-side -side triple toe loops. Just both so secure in the air and they fight for all their landings on every jump, every throw. And this is called an adagio lift. They call it the bow lift, but the way he balances her is as she arches her back at the top of this lift, he's able to simply let go with his left arm and support her. And she's got that right arm as a handle right there to counterbalance. In second place after the short program, here are their technical merit marks, 5-5 five, five to 5-7, five, a stretch for them to win, but Five, These seven, are still some strong marks. Five, I think six, some of those five fives are a five, little low. The second set of scores, a battle for second, five six to five eight. Those five eights are pretty nice. The second mark. Five, eight, and it's a 5-4 five, five, split. Eight, they finish five, third eight, behind Petrova five, and Tikhanov. Right five, now, let's go to seven, Kathleen Murphy. Five, seven, Anton, not a five, hint seven, of the short program tonight. How do you feel about your performance on the ice? Uh, I think tonight uh, it was a good program for us, for our condition for today. And I'm happy about our skating today. Elena, a tough time with the short program. How did you prepare and focus for tonight's performance? <laughs> Tamara helped me <laughs> feel better and how have every time like all over again just try to forget about yesterday and do what have to do today well Tamara how exactly did you help them I have several tricks that uh, I use uh, so that was successful trick today tonight Okay, thank you, Kathleen. Well, Tamara Mosvina pulls off another magic act with her team of Berezhnaya and Sikralitsa. Petrova and Tikhanov were second. The other young Russian team, Obertas and Sokolov, were fifth. And a nice comeback tonight for the young Americans, Laura Handy and Jonathan Hunt, as they build toward next month's U.S. championships. And we'll be 